Today, we shall discuss some speeches in news which are important for prelims exam. Number one is Grey Wolf. So it was in news because of Operation Bhedia, which was launched in UP to capture man-eating wolves. About Grey Wolf, so it is a social animal. It travels in small packs. It is monogamous, which means it only has one partner throughout life. It is nocturnal, which means it is mainly active during night and hunts primarily primarily during dusk to dawn. It is territorial. It communicates via vocalization and scent marking. Indian grey wolf is a subspecies of this grey wolf and it is found in Southwest Asia and Indian subcontinent. The Indian grey wolf is endangered. Next is red panda. So it was in news because of the red panda program of Padmaja Naidu Himalayan Geological Park, which is in Darjeeling, West Bengal. So this program was selected as finalist for World Association of Zoos and Aquariums, WAZA, Conservation Award 2024. About red panda, it is arboreal, which means it lives on trees, as we can see in this picture. It is nocturnal and it is also an indicator species, which means it indicates the health of environment. Uh, red panda is state animal of Sikkim. It is found in eastern Himalayan region, India, Nepal, Bhutan, China. It is endangered and it is in Schedule 1 of WPA and Appendix 1 of Sites. Next is Asiatic Cheetah and African Cheetah. So it was in news because MP government announced that it will translocate some cheetahs in Gandhi Sagar Wildlife Century. So earlier in the project Cheetah, African cheetahs were brought from Namibia and South Africa and they were translocated to Kuno National Park. Now, MP government has decided to make Gandhi Sagar Wildlife Century as the second home for cheetahs. Cheetahs are fastest land animals. Asiatic cheetah was declared extinct in India in 1952. Now, it is only found in Iran and it is critically endangered because its population is very low. It is smaller and it is paler in color as compared to African cheetah. As we can see in the image, it is pale while African cheetah is little bit darker. African cheetahs are found in sub-Saharan Africa. They are vulnerable, which means they are significantly uh, more in number as compared to Asiatic cheetah. It is bigger in size as compared to Asiatic cheetah. Uh, both of them are in Appendix 1 of sites. Also, did you know that Namibia has the largest population of cheetahs in the world and it is also called the cheetah capital of the world. Next is Asiatic lion. So they were in news because lions were being translocated to Barda Wildlife Century in Gujarat from Gir Forest, Gujarat. Uh, about Asiatic lion, so they are smaller and more compact as compared to African lions. They have less developed mane in males and uh, they come under Appendix 1 of sites and Schedule 1 of WPA. Earlier they were endangered. Now their status has been revised to vulnerable in 2024 which means that their number has increased. Project Lion was started in 2020 for their conservation. Next is Neil Giri Tahir. So in 2024, Tamil Nadu and Kerala conducted first synchronized survey to count Neil Giri Tahirs. Neil Giri Tahir are state animal of Tamil Nadu. Uh, Project Neil Giri Tahir was started by Tamil Nadu government in 2022. And it is a five-year program which will continue till 2027. Uh, Nilgiri Tahir is the only mountain ungulate in South India. Ungulate means those animals which have hooves. Hooves are uh, outer protective covering that covers the toes of horses, goats, etc. As we can see that on their feet there is this structure which is very hard. This is called hooves. Okay. Next. The Nilgiri Tahir are endemic to Western Ghats and Iraviculum National Park Kerala hosts the largest population of Nilgiri Tahir. It is endangered and it is in Schedule 1 of WPA. Nilgiri Tahir Day is on October 7. Next is Hulok Gibbon. So it was in news because government approved a proposal to carry out oil and gas exploration in eco-sensitive zone of Hulong Kapar given wildlife century in Assam. So about Hulok given, it is only ape in India. It is arboreal. It is diurnal, which means it is active during day and it is territorial. It is found mainly in Northeast India 
and it has two types western hewlock gibbon which is endangered and eastern hewlock gibbon which is vulnerable next is iberian lynx so it was in use because its iucn status was upgraded from endangered to vulnerable which indicates its number has been has increased it is nocturnal solitary and carnivorous it is endemic to europe and is mainly found in spain and portugal and uh, it comes under appendix 2 of sites thank you